Today we're going to show you how to use a Trimble R12i with Point One's Polaris Correction Service using Trimble Access on a TSC5 controller. So let's start by opening up Trimble Access. The first thing we need to do is configure the receiver to use the Polaris network. So to do that, we're going to go into the settings menu. And first we're going to go into connections. Under the connections menu, we'll select the GNSS corrections sources tab. And we're going to go ahead and create a new connection. We'll call this one here. Point. We'll leave it as Internet Rover. We want to select it to use NTRIP. And then the username, you want to use the username that's in your account. You can find that out by going to your account on the Point One Nav website. Here, uh, and just type that in. We want to make sure that you type that in correctly. It's case sensitive and needs to be matching the case that's on the website. Same thing goes for the password. Let's go ahead and type that in. Under the IP address, you can actually put the URL of our caster, which is going to be polaris.com, and then the port, which will be 2101. Just as a note, the caster may be different if you're in Europe or in the Asia Pacific region. Make sure you look up the caster for the region that you're going to be operating in. Go ahead and hit the enter button. And then the store button. And then you'll see that we've created a point one entry under the connections menu. So what we can do now is escape that menu and then go back to the hamburger menu, go to settings, and now we have to create a survey style for point one. So go ahead, create a new style. I'm going to call this point one. The style type should be GNSS. We can go ahead and accept that. So first, under the style, we want to configure a few receiver options. The first thing we need to check is the broadcast format. Broadcast format for point one is a multi-station RTCM. These elements under the antenna, this is gonna be specific to your equipment. We're using an R12i here, and uh, we'll go ahead and just set the antenna height to zero for now. Just as another feature, the point one network supports L5. So if your antenna is capable of L5, we recommend that you use that as well. And of course, all four constellations. Go ahead and hit accept. And then under the data link, you now need to select the correction source that we just created. And so you'll see the same list that we saw earlier, and you want to select point one. And then under the internet source, this is a little dependent on your setup, but most of the time you're going to be connecting to the internet through the controller. So in this case, we'll say controller internet, accept. And then once that's done, we accept that configuration. Everything else you can leave as is, and then go ahead and hit store. That'll save that configuration as a survey style in your system. So we'll escape out of that menu, and now we're ready to do a survey. So we'll go ahead, create a new project we'll call test. And then we'll create a job in that project called test. Great. So you can see here, we're connected over Bluetooth to our R12. Um, everything is looking normal. So we're gonna go ahead and do a point measurement operation. So to do that, I'm gonna go to the hamburger menu, hit measure, and under the measure, you'll see that we have an option for point one. Let's go ahead, press point one, and then select the measure point option. The system is going to go ahead and now figure out all the mount points available we have the Polaris mount point, and so we can go ahead and hit accept. That's going to open a connection to our server and then begin the service to actually survey. And you can see that quickly, it was able to create a point for us. And so now you'll notice that there's a little green check mark with the spinning globe here. If we go ahead and hit that icon, 
you can see that there are bytes coming in in this IO data transferred block and that the correction source is 0.1. The data age should be something on the order of one to two seconds. And so this is a very, very healthy uh, operation. That's what you expect to see. So you can go ahead and you know create all of your points, enter them. Um, my IMU is a little bit off because my R12 is not uh, leveled, but the point being that now you're able to successfully survey with the point one service. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team and thanks for your time.